Richard Jackson is CEO of Jackson's Fencing. Richard, you're a prominent gate safe campaigner. Can you tell me the latest news in relation to that campaign? What we're currently doing is what we started doing, which is raising awareness uh, throughout all of the industry and all of the uh, people that are involved in gates. And specifically, we're waiting to get a gate training module signed off uh, with IOSH, which should allow us to uh, put the training out into the general market with accreditation from them. And what's happening in terms of lobbying for the campaign in political circles, Richard? Lobbying for the campaign, we've recently written to Damien Collins, a local MP for uh, our organisation, and he referred a, a letter on to Chris Grayling. One of the major issues we see is where the uh, gates are being installed by electricians. They go into a, an electrical wholesaler, they buy some kit, they put it on a gate, and they don't really understand what's involved. And the problem that we're trying to get uh, resolved is if it's commercial application, health and safety are involved. But if it's a residential, it's a trading standards. And it seems to be falling between a void in between the two departments, which we're pushing them to uh, try and find some resolution to. Can you let us know your ultimate ambition for the Gate Safe campaign going forward? Yeah, what we're really aiming to do is get uh, the Gate Safe campaign in the similar situation to the Gas Safe campaign. So every gate that's installed, if it's got a Gate Safe logo on it, the user can be confident that it's a safe gate and isn't going to cause an injury to anyone and prevent any more uh, accidents like we tragically seen. A bit close to home now, Richard. This year witnesses Jackson's 65th anniversary. What are your ambitions for the company in the immediate future? Basically, we're sticking to our uh, core principles. My father founded the business in '47. He looked at the perimeter of uh, agricultural properties as it was then. We're sticking with the perimeter of uh, factories, warehouses. We believe very firmly that the perimeter is the first line of defence. And if you don't get that right, you've got nothing. So that's uh, that's our prime driver at the moment. We've got various products that we're developing. Uh, to enhance that situation. And finally, Richard, how do you see the present business landscape for the company and for the industry in general? Uh, varied. The um, building industry is clearly on its knees and there's virtually nothing coming out of there. The government work for the likes of councils is uh, suffering. But there is work out there, you've got to work hard for it, um, and you've got to make sure you're offering the right product at the right price all the time. Thank you very much indeed, Richard.